Hi folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and in this video, we're going fishing for catfish in the remnants of Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, as everybody knows, Hurricane Harvey uh, really just did a horrible job on Texas, man. Uh, thoughts and prayers to everybody down there. Y'all got a mess, and you're going to be dealing with it for a long time. Uh, but this is the remnants, kind of that whole system. Uh, it's made its way, kind of floating off the east coast now. No real wind with it, no real rain. It's just a little, couple of days of cloudiness and a uh, little bit of rain. And I'm out fishing in it. Uh, why? Well, because I got to work for the next couple of days. It's going to be one of my few opportunities to get out on the water, so I'm going to go do it. Uh, fish when I can, not when. Uh, <laughs> Not when the weather's good, the fish are biting and all that. So, got four in the boat pretty quickly. They're all channel cats so far. Uh, I'm not really sure where the blues are. I'm just kind of going with the wind right now to see what's happening. I'm going to reposition, try up in a creek mouth here in a little bit just to see what I can find. Maybe try to pick up some perch. I got a perch rod out here off the side. Uh, floating along, see if I can get some bait uh, for when I get back from work and uh, get back on the water. So, we're getting into that time of the year where it's great fishing. So, uh, it's time to be out here as much as you can. Put the cat on him. Ah, uh, yep, another small one. What I'm doing is I'm dragging some baits. Uh, also got a perch rod out. That's what the double hook deal is. Got four planter boards out, two straight out the back. All of them on Santee rigs, fishing with some bluegill that I caught the other day. So, see what we can get here. It's a nice cloudy day. Wind's not bad. It's no lightning in the area. The heavy rain's passed, so. It's into good fishing weather. Just see if I can get on any fish. I'm just kind of drifting with the wind. I'm coming across a big flat right now and uh, working my way back to the river channel, just kind of seeing what's going on. I haven't been out here a lot lately fishing, so just kind of covering some water. Another channel cat. of them fairly quickly. No monsters. No work. Guys might have got hooked up on a small one. Let's see what we got here. A rare day in the summertime when you come out and fish in the rain without getting run off by a thunderstorm. We got the remnants of Hurricane Harvey. I got a fish. For a few, about a week after Hurricane Harvey, it finally made it across. We got some remnants and we got Hurricane Irma forming down in the Gulf. It's already formed. It's already a cat vibe. There's a channel cat. It's going bye bye. And uh, I've got a day off, so I'm going fishing. That's what I do on the day off. It never fails when I'm fishing for perch. I always catch the wrong thing. In this case, it's a largemouth bass. Bait for days. That's a good one. Legal bait in North Carolina. All right, folks, if you watch any of my live feeds, I've been talking about my new setup with these monster rod holders that I got on the boat. I kind of redid what I had on here, uh, and I like the configuration. I've made several trips with them now, both anchored and uh, drifting, dragging, and uh, this is what I got set up. I'll kind of show you. I've got them off both sides of the boat, same setup. What I do is, this is great, either anchoring up, I can fish this way, uh, or trolling, drifting, whatever you're dragging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I've got planter boards out. You can see the orange ones out there. Got uh, two out that way, and then this rod goes straight out the back. These two have the planter boards on them. What I like about these monster rod holders is, you can have these rods angled differently. You can see these are going up differently. That one's got wrapped around that tip a little bit, but what it does is it allows you to clear those lines keep your lines out there better keep everything untangled when you're running these multiple lines there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of choreography involved if you're new to it and haven't done it before it's going to take you a little while to get used to it that's okay you get it figured out you'll get used to it you'll see what works for you and uh, using the planer boards will help you catch fish all right guys we've got a planer going off i think it's on also got maybe another rod going off. 
No big, big fish. I'm happy to be getting bit. First time I've had long pants and a jacket on this summer. It's about 64, 65 degrees. Another channel. Kind of uh, not chilly, but it feels a little bit like fall. Just enough to, uh, with no sun on us, just enough to make you go, fall's close. And another small one. We're coming through the river channel. Water's about 80 degrees. We're in about 32 feet of water. We drifted across the large flats where we started, dropped down into the river channel, and making our way back up a real kind of a weak slope so it's not real steep Let's see what we'll get on another small one it's all been channel cats so far three channels in the boat hadn't really got to put these big cat fever rods to the test yet today but if we get into a monster we'll be equipped that's what i'm fishing with uh seven foot six big cat fever rods medium heavy action 20 and 30 pound line. I've been switching over to the 30 just to have something heavier for these planer boards. Another channel. As always folks, thanks for watching. If you like this channel, like this video, please hit that little subscribe button and also hit the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when any new videos come out. We'll see you on the water.